Hey guys, just gonna do a quick video on my hoops and frames. Um, I've seen a lot of you guys doing these, so I thought I would share with what I use. Um, I've had a bunch over the only few years that I've cross stitched. Um, so far, I guess my favorites would have to be the Q snaps. Um, I've still got some flaws with those. I haven't found anything that I'm like 100% in love with yet. Um, I started out with the, actually I think I started out with the wooden hoop that somebody loaned me, but it wasn't like the name brand wooden hoop, it was like the, you know, the 25 cent wooden hoop that you can get at like Michael's. It was okay, I didn't really like it, but then I went to these um, plastic hoops. I think this is a, actually a Susan Bates, this is the 4 inch one. And these were okay for the smaller projects, um, like a bookmark or that kind of thing. But as I moved up, I actually bought a 10 inch hoop like this and it would not ever get any tension. No matter how tight I tightened the little um, bolt up here, it kept popping through. Like the edge would not catch it at all. It was not holding any fabric. It would just pop through. That's actually now a wreath on my door. I made a, a rag wreath out of it <laughs> um, to where it wouldn't go to waste. But so I just I like these for the smaller projects but not really you know for anything else bigger than a bookmark I then found these uh, I don't have anything on this fabric some of these I do have some fabric on to show you the tension I then found these this is a rather large this is the um, this is the 10 inch I can't tell but I found these I think they're technically quilting hoops but they were in the cross stitch area but they're just like the other hoops except that they have an extra, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but they've got extra little uh, lip inside of the hoop. And then this part fits across that lip and it kind of almost snaps together on itself. And then you tighten down the bolt, which is an extra, extra long bolt. <laughs> and it holds in the fabric very well. It doesn't slide out at all. Um, I liked these a lot. These were my very, 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 very favorite for the longest, um, but they're rather expensive. Even like a four or five inch hoop is like, I think the small, the cheapest one I found was like seven or eight dollars. And it was like for like a four, like a five inch hoop, which is not bad, but compared to like a dollar twenty or two dollars, it's a lot more expensive. But I did really like these. You do have to be careful. They can pull some of your stitches. Um, I've got Starry Night on right now. I just put these on here to where you can kind of see the different tensions. But um, you can get it a lot tighter than this if you want to, if you really pull on it. I didn't want to pull on it and risk pulling some of my stitches because it's underneath the, the lip, but I'll get it a little tighter. I'll show you. I mean, you can get pretty much drum, drum tension on those if you do like the hoop. And if you're a hoop person, I do recommend these. Um, I don't. I cannot think of them who makes these right now to save my life. I will try to find out and put that on the um, put that on put that down in the description. But I got these at Hobby Lobby is where I got these. I know you can get them at um, Joann's too. I, you can get them a lot of places. Amazon has them. I think they're actually more expensive on Amazon though. But I really do like these as far as hoops go. They are my very favorite hoop. Um, then um, a co-worker showed me the tension hoops. I don't know if I like these or not. I've got several of them because I don't know what brand she had. Hers had such great, um, I'm a, I love tight tension like this. And I like the drum tension um, when I cross stitch. I don't know why, I just want my fabric to be tight. I don't like the floppiness of fabric while I'm stitching. And um, hers was really good. Hers had, it was awesome. All the ones I have found have mediocre tension and I end up having to spread out the um, inner spring part and then I get it to where it's hard to put in. I was using these kind of for my to-go projects just because they were smaller and easier to carry, easier to fit in the box. And I still use them for that, but they aren't my favorite. Um, Here's the kind of the tension you can get with those. See, so it kind of, kind of gives some. I don't like it to give, but it's not real, real tight. <clears throat> um, I don't. I hate this part. I always manage to put this part in the wrong spot, and then I get my floss tangled up. I don't realize it's I've had stitches, and or I have stitches on the fabric, and then I have to undo the stitches. This drives me crazy. 
And some of them, I'm trying to find the one I was trying to put on earlier that I couldn't even get into the, see like, it can be hard to get in to the plastic part. I was at work one night on break and the thing just completely, I wasn't there stitching, the thing just completely fell apart. This, this part went shooting across the um, desk and everybody jumped, kind of scared everybody, scared myself, it was in my hands, you know, I wasn't expecting it. So I don't really recommend these at all. I have a bunch of them, but I don't recommend them. I was hoping I would find one that would work better. Maybe I had the wrong size or that kind of thing, but I don't really recommend them. Not my favorites. Um, Q Snap right now is my current favorite. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. This is the six by six. Um, they are, they almost feel like PVC pipe. <clears throat> and you spread your fabric out over it and then you clamp the clamp down on top of the fabric. Um, the cool thing about these is like you can buy a six by six and like an 11 by 11 or all the different sizes and then you can mix and match the sizes. Like just recently I bought the 17 inch extender. I haven't opened it yet. So I can put this 17 inch extender on with the six and have like a 17 by six or I can put it on with 11 size um, bars and have 11 by 17. They're kind of interchangeable. Um, I really do like these a lot. Um, something that I've learned with them is that you do need to put something underneath it to make it tighter. Again, you can get drum tightness with these and then as you're stitching, if it does kind of get a little loose, you just twist out your clamp and it'll get tight again. Um, also the fabric underneath will protect any of your current stitches from getting smushed, which is something I don't like about the hoops is that it smushes your, um, your stitches. I started out using this like shelf liner stuff, but then what was happening is that it was, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it kind of cracks the Q-snap. See how there are lines in there where it's cracked? I have another one where the clamp is cracked. You can actually see where it's, uh, you may not be able to get close enough on this video, but you can actually see inside of it where it's just, there's a crack, there's a huge crack down the middle. But the good news of that is that you can buy, um, Spare clamps are very cheap. Um, usually, on, well, where I live, I have to get online to order them in. I don't have any um, LNSs near me or even hobby shops that carry um, Q-snaps. So I have to get online and order them, but you can order just the clamps. Also learn that if you use this cheap, cheap, like 25 cents a sheet felt, they tend to, because this is one of my new ones, they tend, they, it's not cracked it or distorted the size of it at all. That did really well. Then they have these Snuggies you can buy. This is one that I made. I'm not going to show you this up close because my sewing is horrible. But when your fabric hangs over the edge, you can either use, I tend to use a, um, like one of those little hair clips. I did, forgot to grab one, but, um, and I roll my fabric and clip the little claw hair clip over and over it and hold my fabric out of the way. Or you can get these, I think they're called Huggies, Grime Guards. You can buy, buy them on... One, two, three, Stitch has them. Um, my, the Crazy Annie's where I buy a lot of my um, supplies has them. But they just fit around. Once your fabric's rolled up, they'll um, fit around and they will hold your fabric out of the way where it doesn't get dirty. Like I said, I made this one. The ones that I've seen online look a lot better. They're a lot straighter and more even. But um, it holds your fat just to get a general idea that it would hold your fabric out of the way to where you're not touching your fabric and um, it doesn't get dirty. I have had some of the um, split rail scroll frames. Did not like them at all. Um, could not ever get the side tension that I wanted. I even tried taping it to the, um, to the frame, like with masking tape or painter's tape. I had taped it to the frame. Still couldn't get the tension I liked. Um, I tried the basting ones and <laughs> maybe I just had an old one but I couldn't get a needle through the basting material. Um, finally gave up on those. Um, I could not find any brand of scroll frame that I liked. Oh and one quick thing about the Q-snaps. I did try the off brand like the Hobby Lobby brand of these things and hated them. Definitely, definitely invest in the name brand Q-snaps. They make all the different moves. All the difference in the world or i guess if you're overseas they're r and r i think is what they're called but here they're called q snaps but um definitely don't get the store brand not don't even waste your time on those they they are horrible my my ergo wouldn't hold them they're just they don't have the tension at all 
But back to this scroll frames, I could not ever find a scroll frame that I like. My son's trying to make an appearance over here. He's running up. Um, could never find a scroll frame that I liked. Um, I will say that my husband, I uh, mentioned in the last video that it was our anniversary. We had said no gifts. Um, and I, of course, abided by that rule and did no gifts, only got cards. And um, in my card was the receipt to a Millennium Frame by Needle Needs. I don't know when that'll be coming in. I know they've been on back order, plus we're overseas. And I don't know if the, the government shutdown is going to affect, you know, international shipping, if there'll be delays or whatever. But anyway, I don't know when it'll come. Um, it's not here yet. I'm very, very impatiently <laughs> waiting for the, that to get here. I'm very excited. It seems like it's going to be really good um, tension. And a lot of you guys do have the frame and said they all love it. So um, once I get that, I will give a review and let you guys know what I think about it. Kind of show you how they work and how they set up. I definitely um, think that it, I've not read a negative review, so I think it'll be, I think they'll work great. The downturn about it is that I don't think that it will work with my Ergo. Um, the Q snaps are round and they work wonderful with my Ergo, and that's the only hope that I have is that since these are round and it, they work perfect with my Ergo, that this too will work perfect, or that the frame, the scroll frame will work with my Ergo too as well. I'm almost afraid that it's too wide. I think the, the uh, diameter is going to be too wide to, to clamp in well, but we shall see. Again, I'll let you know. But there's just a, a quick, I guess it wasn't really quick, but there's a video of uh, all the different um, hoops and snaps and scroll frames I've used. I don't have any of the scroll frames. I have jumped them all, um, taken them to charity shops, reviewed them to other stitchers that do like scroll frames. Could never the one that I finally found that somewhat worked. I ended up breaking because I was tightening the wing nuts down so hard that I like split the rail. So um, definitely looking forward though to my Millennium Frame. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them. And of course, feel free to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.